Okay guys, I'm back. And today, we are gonna have some fun. It looks terrible. It just looks terrible. I've had this sitting around for a little bit. Um, if you guys remember, a little bit ago, my best friend Adam was out here. We had some fun. We carved some scary looking wood gnomes and we tested the um, that, that Gladius Odin Wolf knife. And, and, and anyway, uh, we were just looking around Walmart just kind of goofing off hanging out and I saw this and I wasn't sure if I had done a video on this thing before but I couldn't resist it it's a six-in-one multi-tool look at it I couldn't resist it uh, so I had to grab it I had to pick it up and we had to test this thing out now I just tracked the price because I forgot um, it, it's right now on walmart.com they have this thing listed for nearly $15 I can't remember the original price I paid for it, but I know it was at least half that. I mean, at least half, if not maybe a, maybe a third, you know? Um, so, and that's, you know, that's online, in a, you know, uh, an online price. Usually when you go to the store, you find a little bit cheaper, but um, it's funny because sometimes you get an Ozark Trail and, and it's, it's a decent tool, it's not bad. But I just, we laughed at this thing and, uh, as we were discussing what you could do with a 12 gauge flare gun. Um, and uh, anyway, so I had no choice. I had to grab it. We're gonna take a look at it today. And you know, it, there's like a there's like a 90% chance it's gonna be exactly what we think an Ozark Trail six in one multi-tool is gonna be. But there's that 10% and that's what we hold out hope for. Well, this is just a stupid, this doesn't help. You already lose points, six in one multi tool. Um, plastic. Uh, now there is no, I already looked, there's like, there's no info on what kind of steel this is made of, and we're not gonna find it. I almost guarantee it. But don't miss, don't miss the little Prop 65 cancer warning. Maybe that's what happened. Maybe that's what happened to me. Maybe just opening too many knives that are dangerous in California is how I ended up. So sick. Okay. Oh, that, that looks, that just looks. Now, I like grind lines, and I always say I like grind lines, but when your grind lines look like they literally took a CNC burr and just went no, 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 that's not a grind line. That is definitely not a grind line. Somewhere, so, some low-budget B-movie effects studio is going to take this thing and paint it silver. And it's going to be like the the hero's laser knife device. So, all right. Let's get serious about that. Oh, I got to get some 550 cord. I didn't bring it down because we got to test that. So, the six tools we have is... I'm going to look it up again because I just tore the back of the goddamn package off. So, we've got the knife. Okay. We've got a mini flashlight right here, which will, does this actually, oh, that's kind of cool. You don't normally see that. Usually they're like locked in there. Okay, we'll get to that. We've got the mini flashlight. We got a fire starter, which I'm assuming ferro rod right there. And okay, we'll see how that, how that works. Cool. We've got a glass breaker slash temple smasher right there to work with. A cord cutter and a bottle of, why, why wouldn't we? Why wouldn't it have a bottle opener? So those are your six tools. We need as a, as a nation, as a community of people to get together and just finally decide that a bottle opener is not a tool. You've never been like out in the wilderness and somebody's gonna disagree with me on this. Or you've never been like, like trying to repair a piece of equipment and like needed to reach for the bottle opener in your toolbox. That's what you do when you're all done. You reach for the bottle opener and have a beer. Anyway, so things are very, I don't know. Well, this is magnetic, but that's kind of dangly. Fit and finish is kind of what you'd expect, but not terrible. Clip is not great, but it's got decent retention and a little bit of spring to it. So we're kind of, we're dancing on that edge of like, it's low quality. We know it is because it's an Ozark Trail, but it's not, I've seen M-Tech give us much, much worse is what I'm trying to say. That's what I'm trying to say little tiny bit off center but honestly not not the worst i've seen i mean that's what 
you know, <coughs> sorry. I guess if I were to rename this thing, I'd call it the Ozark Trail. Meh. That's what. It's basically what it would be. Everything is just meh. It's not terrible. Hey, what'd you think of that new knife? It didn't suck. I mean, that's that's the best I got. It's pretty good action. Um, it's got plastic washers, and again, how can you tell the difference between the white plastic, the nylon, and the Teflon? The the nylon are much thicker than the Teflon, uh, and you can feel it too when you get the experience. But it's decent action, and really not any blade play. Decent lockup for something, you know, in this size. I, you know what though? As we've done this a couple times. I don't think it's just me. It's comfortable, actually, believe it or not. But I think the centering has has moved a little bit towards the right. Okay, whatever. Um, it is it is fairly comfortable, I have to say. Once once you get it open, now you have kind of a tall handle here because you got to fit your flashlight and your ferro rod in there. But again, it does sort of fill out the hand a little bit. That clip definitely feel into my knuckles. Okay, again. It's not the most terrible thing, it's not great, but contour-wise, not bad. And having the cord cutter out here really gives it just a little bit extra to hold on to. I can't believe I'm finding good stuff to say about this thing. Um, got a bit of a hollow grind. Unfortunately, we do have our part serrated blade. Do what you want with that. The uh, temple smasher here is, I feel like it's laid in yeah, it's part of it. So it, you've got an all-metal backspacer in there. And the Temple Smasher is molded right into that, which is nice. And you can see the fit and finish on that is awful. If you take a look, it's... But that gives it the appearance that it might just have some hand finishing. Um, but it's terrible. Look, I mean, look at the tolerances there and there. The fit and finish on this thing is really, is really junky. This is obviously a single piece injection molded piece of plastic. So lightweight, I don't know, it's probably, I don't want to guess, not styrene, maybe an ABS type. That truck doesn't know, he's not going to tell us. Um, I don't know, but let's just get to what we got to get to here. I am surprised. I'm trying to avoid the serration area. I am so surprised that this that this cuts the way it does, honestly. Um, but again, remember, like I like to say, we we should expect that out of the box. A knife should do that out of the box. It's a measure of the production standards and quality out of the package. Have no idea how well it's going to hold that edge, but the point is, we take it out of the package. Let's say it's all we got, and we know it's at least going to get us through our first series of cuts. I'm tempted to say it's probably like a 420 or a basic 440. I probably, I want to, oh, there we go. Look what I just noticed. See that clip screw not quite screwed in? That's fantastic. And and uh, at least we can't just put it back in with our thumb. That would be pretty crappy. But um, if it's like a 420 or just a basic 440, not even a 440C, it's not going to hold that edge. It's not, but on the flip side, it's going to be very easy for us to maintain that edge. But that's just, you know, a hassle. I mean, that's... Some people say, oh, well, you know, at least you can you can put the edge back on real easy. Yeah, but that's not the point. Think about the pain in the ass and the stoppage and work to have to keep putting the edge on. The easier it is to put an edge on means the easier it is for that edge to come off. So that's not always a good factor. I mean, it is good to say sometimes, you know, it's easy to maintain the edge. But too easy to scrape steel off the blade means it's too easy for this edge to just come right off as you're working on it. So that's not always a great advantage to say, oh yeah, you can sharpen it really easily. Sometimes you want it to be, to be a little bit difficult because that means you've got resilience in your steel. You know what I'm saying? So let's take a look at this little flashlight guy. Um, now I think they said we're gonna have to... It's a little plastic. I like that the magnet kind of holds the batteries together. That's cool. I'm not expecting great things. That's better than I was expecting. Honestly, better than I was expecting. And we, I wasn't expecting anything more than, you know, maybe 10 lumens out of this thing. It doesn't say, 
but what would you actually do with this little thing? I have no idea, but it doesn't just turn on when when the uh, the lens is pressed, which is nice. Which some O lights actually do. The older little keychain ones, so that's cool. I don't know. You figure you figure it out. I, I listen. I can't do all the work. Um, that magnet holds it in pretty good. Okay. Now, is this, this does feel 90 degrees. Oh. Either it's not good 90 degrees or this coating sucks. In which case, I would personally, I would sacrifice the serrations. Um, or maybe we can use, let's see. Let's experiment here. How about this? Yeah, there we go. That's going to do better for us. I think. There. Let's make sure I'm getting it on camera. It's kind of awkward because you still have the plastic scale, but... I mean, it, it sparks. You just have to work a little bit with that. Or if you could... No, I'm not going to mess with it. So, yeah, it, it feels... I mean, I think it's, it is 90 degree edge spine, but the coating kind of messes it up. But this area works pretty well. So you can spark with it. You know, you just got to get used to it. Um, I got to find some 550 cords. So bear with me. I'll be right back. Back outside just in time for an EC-135, which is a civilian version of the Army's UH-172. And uh, there must be a serious thing because that guy's orbiting pretty low and typically civilians fly that as an emergency uh, medevac roll. And he is in a tight bank right over this area. And so there's pretty close. There's like a main road called 309. Anyway, sorry guys. I, I still can't not look up. Uh, anyway. So, got the 550 cord. So you know what, since we got the 550 cord, we'll go back to the blade real quick. We'll do a slice. That's not bad. We'll pull it on through. Your mom pulls it on through. Not bad, but I also, you know what, I kind of cheated. I was choked up a bit. I got some extra leverage. So let's do it for reals, yo. Grab the actual handle and a little harder, actually a lot harder with the uh, fulcrum point further down from where we were cutting, but it still did it and it did it pretty well. I mean, uh, it, it did it, but it was a lot more effort. So now the final hokey pokey, prepare to turn yourselves about. Okay. You got a very unclean cut and uh, it doesn't you know we've seen some cord cutters that just pop right through which is what they're supposed I mean that's what they're supposed to do because if you're supposed if you get this in a like a nylon webbing or clothes it should just go right through there so we should just be able to put it in and pull but you gotta gotta weasel it a little bit so but it does it in the end. I mean, it it doesn't completely, totally suck. So, you know, like I said, I, I, I never intended this to be like a real serious review. I got this for fun. I thought we'd have a little bit of fun with it. And, and also, by the way, not everybody's got a ton of money to spend on the fanciest stuff. So if we can take a look at something lower cost, that might actually work out for some people. Um, or, you know, flip it around some people do have the money to spend on some expensive stuff but they don't always want to throw that into some you know uh potentially knife destructive situations so i'm really concerned by the uh eurocopter up there anyway so overall not a not a very 
don't know where I'd even rate this. If we had a scale, right, with a perfect mission on one side and a total pooch screw on the other. Sorry. Um, so if if this was going to be like a great knife on one side and like the worst knife we've ever had on the other, I don't know where this would fit in. It would fit in somewhere between decent and not very good. If you were to pack this up as a backup to your backup to your backup, um, I think it would get you through a few days. I wouldn't put a lot of faith in it past that. But I think it would get you through those few days. And that's all I would, then that, that's it. Um, you would absolutely want to make sure that you carried a small stone with you and probably a little pocket set of, of bits because I have a feeling you're, you're going to need to retighten some tolerances on this as you go. Um, but it is, you know, it is what it is. Like I said, they say $14 and some change now. I, I can't, I, I, I don't think I really could not have seen myself, could not see myself that day paying more than six bucks for this. Seven at the most, um, in store. So, I, I really don't think it was that much. Because I remember talking about the price with, with Adam and saying, I, at that, at that price, I gotta, I gotta get it just so we can have some fun on the channel, you know? Um, <clears throat> so, Ozark Trail is a, is a Walmart exclusive kind of low budget brand. So that's where you're gonna find it. You can look for it online if you want or go to the store if you want to mess with it. Um, I might continue to mess with it a little bit, but most important part now is, so I got some questions that I'd love for you guys to answer in the comments, okay? Is this anything that you would consider for as a backup to your backup to your backup? <clears throat> would any of you guys just consider picking it up just to try it out, just to give it a shot? Like if you found it at like the $5 level, five, six, seven, would you pick it up just to give it a shot, just to see? And maybe say, okay, let me let me try out an Ozark Trail. Because I have gotten some really cheap Ozark Trail knives, honestly, that were not that bad. Is this something that you would not even, like, allow to touch a hand that would touch another knife? Um, or is you get all even intrigued at something like this? Just cur I'm just curious where we're at, because I'll say it again. I got this just to have some fun, thought we could look at it together laugh at it but maybe be a little bit impressed with some of the stuff it does i don't i don't know are you impressed with with any of what it does you guys tell me i'm really i'm really curious um <clears throat> so i hope we had a little fun in this guy with this guy so i hope we had a little fun with this little guy out here today i hope you guys are a little bit entertained thanks for spending some time with me as usual if you did have some fun or if you hated it whatever Still, go ahead, like, subscribe, share, hit the notification bell thingy icon, whatever. Remember that you guys are all absolutely awesome. I appreciate every single one of you. And I'll be back again with something much better than this real soon.